Hi, this is Richard Hazler, proud principal of Pequannock Valley School, a grade six through eight school in Pompton Plains, New Jersey, as part of the Pequannock Township School District. And welcome to this week's episode of Learning Sparks, where we learn and grow together, talking about instructional strategies that enhance student learning in our classrooms. This week, I had the opportunity to visit a, a seventh grade science class. And as I walked around the room, I saw a poster that sparked this week's episode for Learning Sparks. And it was a poster that was entitled, How to Talk Like an Educated Professional. And as I looked at the poster, I thought it was designed first for the teacher because it was providing sentence starters for class discussions. And the more I read the poster, I saw that it was really meant for students. And it got me thinking about the importance of class discussions and the impact that it can have on student learning. You know, participating in class discussions is critical to student mastery and student participation. The opportunity to share ideas, express opinions, present new information, or provide feedback add to the dynamics that make learning meaningful and purposeful in a classroom. However, it's not just important that the teacher facilitates the discussions, it's important that students understand how to participate in a class discussion. Because there are so many things that happen during a class discussion, and so sometimes students don't know where to fit in. So today, on this week's episode of Learning Sparks, we're going to take a look at some tips on how to provide students with some sentence starters or just to, to get going in terms of participating in a class discussion. So as an example, let's say that we're making observations in a classroom and there's discussions happening about what has been observed. To help students along or to get started, there could be sentence starters like, I noticed that in this experiment, this happened. Or when I was reading Tom Sawyer, I observed that Tom was behaving in this way. Sometimes students see the observations, they don't know how to start off expressing them. So providing them with these two simple sentence starters could benefit a student in making observations as part of a class discussion. If students want to express an idea, sometimes they have it, they may write it down, but they don't know necessarily how to say it. It can be very simply stated as, I think that, or it seems like, and then a co whole conversation could start. And then you could report a classmate's idea the same way. You know, Johnny pointed out that, or Mary shared with me that during uh, what she was reading, she observed this character, and now you have students that are reporting classmates' idea and expressing their own idea. And now you have a full-blown class discussion happening where the teacher can really sit back and be the facilitator. Sometimes students need clarification in a class discussion. Things are happening very quickly, and students don't always pick up on what's being presented or discussed. Sometimes students need to know how to ask those types of questions or get involved. So questions like, you know, what do you mean by, or a start, sentence starter like, I don't quite understand, can you explain this again to me? When students know how to ask for clarification, it, it will help them master their learning and be more involved in, that, in the discussion process. What if students are making predictions and the class discussion students are, are predicting what may happen next? A science experiment just happened. Based on what I saw, I can infer that or my hypothesis is, based on all the information that's presented to me, or I think the answer to this math problem might be, and they're solving it. When students are making predictions about their learning, they're using previous skills or previous understanding, and so that adds to, to, to class discussions. We don't want to lose that. Finally, the last piece is what happens if we want to interject an idea into a conversation? Because now you're having back and forth in class discussions and they become much more lively. You know, I would like to add that, or can I say something that uh, uh, Susie might have said here that I agree with or disagree with? Or I, I would like to, to um, point out that, you know, so if we're, if we're interjecting on an idea, students are taking and listening very carefully and then adding to a conversation. So it's important that we model for students how to participate in class discussions. And simply by putting this poster up and, and reviewing it with the students, when I saw in the walkthrough students participating in class discussions, I heard some of these sentence starters being used. So don't take for granted the power of classroom discussions because we want students to be able to express new ideas, explain what they're learning, provide feedback to their classmates and to their teachers, and we want the teachers doing the same thing. Because when everybody's learning and growing together, those classroom discussions are going to be extremely lively. So great job by Mrs. Donch and Miss Adams as I walked by and I saw this posted in the classroom. Because their classroom, the, the discussions that were happening were outstanding. So 
it, when you walk into your classrooms, think about how your students participate in class discussions and maybe providing them with some sentence starters, either posting them on the wall, putting them in a Google Classroom, or simply giving a handout to them that they can put in their notebooks to use will enhance the class discussions in your rooms. So thanks for joining me on this week's episode of Learning Sparks. I hope you can follow me on Twitter, at Rich Hazler, as we learn and grow together. And as always, do what's best for kids. Have a great day, everybody.